It's a bit of a flashback to things we've previously dealt with here about four years ago. Austin Police Association President Michael Bullock says the recent protests on the University of Texas at Austin's campus are reminiscent of the Black Lives Matter protests years ago, with one major difference for the police department. Our department is significantly smaller than it was then. So any major event is a strain on our resources. While only assisting in a support role, Bullock says the protests over the last week have made things difficult for the department. It just has this cascading effect where we're trying to shuffle people all around the city in order to make sure that we are able to respond to 911 calls. The strain of officers was a topic brought up by Travis County Attorney Delia Garza Tuesday. She says the way protests were being handled at UT were putting law enforcement officers in a bind. When large numbers of APD officers, for example, are sent to assist and round up protesters for criminal trespass charges, that means less officers available for other calls, like domestic violence and assaults. But Bullock says it's ironic to hear Garza's statement. She is declining to prosecute. She's dropping charges outright. So her office in and of itself is what's causing a strain on our resources. Bullock says having officers deal with their duties while potentially helping handle protests that may or may not get violent can weigh heavily on them. I said it a while back, you know, we're at our breaking point and this just edges us closer and closer to it. Okay. Fine. The bikes, the bikes are helping. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.